Hi, I'm Terry with Heavy Duty Powertrain, and uh, I'm going to start off 2013 and uh, bring you up to date. I apologize here for not uh, get more videos out, uh, but at any rate, uh, you know, I don't know how many truckers and uh, customers that we've dealt with. I can tell you this, well over 500 plus customers that have uh, uh, purchased DCMs and wiring harnesses and, uh, you know, and uh, work with me on this to get their truck. Well, back to, you know, the standards that it should be. I'm not quite sure, uh, you know, why this is uh, went on being neglected uh, it just uh, it's it's amazing but it seems like it's really helping putting this out here and uh, helping you guys uh, I mean I still get calls somebody it's overhauled their engines you know completely for one reason or another and maybe uh, you know they just really had wiring and ECM problems and really didn't even need to overhaul that engine right now and spent uh, thousands of dollars and uh, they're calling me up and saying man I did a complete major on this and <laughs> you know it still won't run right so you know an overhaul to me doing it right uh, on these trucks, you know, you got a million miles plus, you know, you really need to do it, you know, uh, you know, correctly. And, uh, I mean, these engines are no different in a sense of doing things right than back in the 60s and 70s when I uh, had, you know, my Chevys and Camaros and, uh, and I'm sure you Ford people and everything and uh, very shortly we learned how important you know a complete tune-up kit was wires points condensers and what have you so uh, that's uh, it's what you're dealing with out there and I think a lot of it what I'm finding out in 2012 uh, when I put up the website uh, www.in14parts.com uh, and start talking to people how to address these issues and shared some videos uh, really of uh, you know this really needs to be stepped up a notch I know the economy is not good but you know, if you're going to really overhaul an engine and you're going to buy an ECM from us, it's high quality, uh, or even from Cummins, uh, you know, you really need to get on top of uh, the whole picture here, you know. Uh, and the best, best solution is to really, I don't have a problem with, talking to people and helping them through it and get this thing wired and a lot of times rewired uh, this 10 20 years a lot of things have changed and uh, and uh, I feel very educated that I can help you out on that end uh, you know you're buying an ECM from me and uh, and uh, you know you learn real quick out there after the fact that buying an ECM because your ECM's bad is just just a 50% uh, of the problem really and you know the the real key to this is to get involved with me and let me help uh, suggest what you need and go through all the checking and everything and uh, you know, we're looking at 2,000, sometimes 3,000, 3,500. It really 
replacing everything, get this thing right and uh, corrected. And, you know, it's, your truck's worth it. And uh, you can save the receipts and uh, everything. And uh, you just, you know, it's just doing it the right way. So I guess my biggest tip uh, it's really based on 2012 of how many harnesses and sensors and rewiring and really helping people identify what made the ECM fail, which is just huge uh, that we're offering you an option to send it in and we'll even check it out uh, and tell you what's wrong. Uh, this is really labor intensive uh, to for us to do this, and we're in 2012. You know we've offered this is uh, you know a free service, and you know it it really depends on uh, how everything keeps going, and we want to keep doing that for you. And the way that works, it's kind of a no brainer. I devote myself and help you get your truck going. You buy an ECM from us and we're we're fine with it. You know, uh, doing this for free, checking out your ECM. We are offering uh, in 2012 uh, a basic bench test for a hundred bucks and a recal for another hundred bucks. Uh, that's one stage. It seems to be a lot of customers just want to send it in and maybe have it tested that way and uh, get a recalibration out of it for 200 bucks. That includes testing the ECM on the bench. That's not putting it on a truck or anything. It's just basic testing and recal. And uh, maybe you want to decrease or upcrease or uh, increase the horsepower and uh, you know I'm offering that now so the bottom line is it all starts out just call me at 810-653-6300 and you know I really love what I do and uh, I know I got a cat shirt on here but we'll have to tell you about that but Eventually, we do plan on doing 3406 cats, and uh, we keep getting requests to do uh, many other cats, Cummins, and Detroit ECMs, and uh, and I know everybody would like the same tech support. So, you know, that's uh, what's happened in 2013, and uh, I want to tell all my customers. Uh, and are all my followers here that I really appreciate uh, the business that you can uh, throw at us. And, uh, you know, uh, believing in me and uh, me believing in you. And that's pretty much what's keeping things going. And we're trying to keep the price down for everybody. And uh, it looks like nobody's going to be out there buying new trucks. So believe in your electronic trucks. You know, whether it be a Cat, Detroit, or a Cummins, you know, it's a matter of just getting on top of the electronics and getting that right and uh, putting the money that needs to be invested. And uh, they're all great engines. And uh, we can work together and uh, do this and save you fuel mileage and get you more power, whatever you need to you know, to happen to make it a successful year. And uh, believe me, you know, you won't be just throwing money away. It'll uh, pay for itself. So, got any other questions? Call me. I'm Terry Crine. I don't represent Cummins, Cat, Detroit, or anybody. Uh, my number is 810-653-6300. And our latest website is www.n14partsparts.com and uh, I'm right there with you and I'm open seven days a week and God 
prevailing. I can keep this up and uh, we all win. So Happy New Year and uh, have a good, uh, wish you really a good year in 2013. Thank you.